An air and sea search is continuing for possible survivors of the Edmund Fitzgerald, a 729-foot ore carrier, which apparently broke apart and sunk last night on Lake Superior. The ship and its 29-man crew vanished in a storm with 80-mile-an-hour winds and wave heights up to 25 feet. All that has been found is an oil slick and some debris. The legend lives on from the Chippewan down up the big lake they call get sugar made. The lake it is that never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With the load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. A big ship and true was a bummed a bit chewed when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most, with a growing good captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms when they left for a loaded for Cleveland. And later that night, when the ship's bell rang, it'd be the north wind they'd been feeling.
In a musty old hall in Detroit, they prayed in the Maritime Sailors Cathedral. The church bell chimed till it rang twenty-nine times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. The legend lives on from the Chippewa down of the big lake they call Good Sugar Bay. Superior, they say, never gives up every day. 